Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. We are all about the food on our channel. We do taste test, what's for dinner, and grocery hauls. And so we are kicking off another week of What's for Dinner. And tonight for dinner, I am having Trader Joe's Chicken Flavor Instant Ramen Soup. And this is what it looks like. Um, I've never had it before, and I saw it there on a recent haul. And I do like the cup of noodles and stuff with all the bad stuff in there. So I thought this might be good. And so you cook it in the container in the microwave. <clears throat> And it has two seasoning packets. It has a um, like a chicken flavor seasoning packet and then a little package of sesame oil. And so you cook it in the microwave for about two minutes and then you let it sit for about six minutes. And this is what it looks like. And it really has a good flavor. There's not a whole lot in um, the little package, um, but this will be enough for dinner. So it tastes really good, it has a good flavor and I would definitely repurchase it again. I think these were 99 cent and they had a chicken variety and then they had a vegetarian variety too. I think it may have been miso, uh, I can't remember. But anyway, this is what's for dinner tonight and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, just wanna show you what we are having for dinner tonight. We are having Little Caesars Cheesy Italian Bread. Uh, we tried this for the first time the other week and we really liked it a lot. And we got the marinara sauce. And tonight we are trying out their um, garlic parmesan wings. Never had them before, but they look really good. I'll let you know how they taste. Um, but anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we will see you next time. Hey guys, just want to show you what we are having for dinner tonight. We are trying out a new restaurant. It is called Perry Perry, and it is a grilled chicken restaurant. And so Howard and I both got a quarter of dark meat chicken with a spicy sauce and it is very good, but it's very spicy. We also got a side of rice to split. Howard got cassava chips and then I got french fries. And these are some additional sauces that we can use for your chicken or whatever you like. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see you guys next time. Hey guys, we just got back from the restaurant and I have a craving for sugar cookies. And I bought this sugar cookie um, dough from Aldi not too long ago, and I am going to bake up some of the Aldi and some of the Pillsbury. So normally I buy Pillsbury sugar cookie um, dough and I saw that for the first time I think Aldi had a sugar cookie dough. So I'm going to do a taste test, well Howard and I are going to do a taste test and see which one is the best. So I'm going to bake these up and then I will be right back. Hey guys, we're back. I just pulled the cookies out of the oven, but I wanted to show you the difference in the cookie doughs. So this one right here is from Aldi, and the other one is Pillsbury. The one from Aldi, as you can see, is a little bit darker than the Pillsbury. And I looked at the ingredients, and the difference is that the Pillsbury, the first ingredient was sugar. The Aldi, the first ingredient was flour. So let me show you what they look like on the pan. So these right here are the ones from Aldi and the other ones are from Pillsbury and I put a little dot, a little uh, piece of, um, what are those things called, a sprinkle just to make sure that I didn't mix the two up. And so we tried both of them and I thought they would taste very similar but they don't. So we prefer the Pillsbury because it's sweeter, it was lighter, it was crunchier, it had a very different texture than the ones from Aldi. The one from Aldi, the ones from Aldi, Howard said they tasted kind of salty and I kind of agree with him. Also, they weren't as sweet and they were a lot more dense than the ones from Pillsbury. So anyway, that is our review of the Aldi sugar cookies. We hope you liked it. See you next time. Hey guys, just wanna show you what we are having for dinner tonight. We are having rice and peas. My husband is from Jamaica and this is one of his favorite side dishes. 
and I have a shortcut version. If you guys are interested in seeing me um, do a cook with me video showing you how to make this rice, just let me know. Just comment in the comments below. It's a very simple recipe. I used can I use canned beans, coconut milk, and chicken broth. And like I said, I'm happy to share the recipe with you. And then we are also having some Jamaican jerk chicken. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I used boneless, skinless chicken thighs and cut it up in cubes. And we are actually using a little kit here that I got from Walmart. And um, it comes with three different seasoning packets in it. And so that's what I used. We tried it and Howard um, thinks it has kind of a curry taste to it and I'd have to agree with him, but I still think it has a good flavor. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see you guys next time. Hey guys, just wanna show you what we are having for dinner tonight. We are having a grilled chicken bacon pesto pizza that I made using Dollar Tree ingredients and I will have a recipe coming out um, next week. Um, and we will see you guys next time.